Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alerts. Today we're talking about the 2015 film, Mad Max, Fury Road. So let's get started. This film is actually the fourth film in the series, however, its plot does not rely heavily on the previous films. I will be making summaries of these other films, however, which you will be able to find in the links below. The film takes place several years after a nuclear holocaust, where we find the world has become a desert wasteland, and civilization has collapsed. We see a survivor named Max Rotansky, the namesake of the film, who is captured by the War Boys. The War Boys are the army of Immortan Joe, and Max is brought to Joe's Citadel. Max is marked as a universal blood donor, and is given to a sick War Boy named Nux, in order to be used as a blood bag. Meanwhile, one of Joe's lieutenants, Imperator Furiosa, is sent to drive an armored semi-truck, called the War Rig, to collect gasoline. However, she ends up leading the convoy off the path, and it is revealed that Joe's five wives, beautiful women who were selected for breeding, have escaped with Furiosa. So Joe sends an army after Furiosa, calling for aid from two other organizations, one from Gastown and the other from the Bullet Farm. The war boy Nux also joins the pursuit, with Max strapped to his car to continue his blood supply. Joe's forces continue to pursue Furiosa's war rig, and she drives into a sandstorm, where she loses most of Joe's forces, except for Nux. Nux tries to sacrifice himself to destroy the war rig, but fails, and the car, which used to be owned by Max, is destroyed. Max survives the crash, and approaches Furiosa and the wives, including Angerhard, Joe's favorite wife, who is pregnant with Joe's child. Max steals the war rig, but Furiosa installed the kill switch that only she knows how to activate. Max agrees to let Furiosa and the wives accompany him, while Nux is left to be picked up by Joe's army. They travel through a canyon together that is controlled by bikers, and Joe's forces continue to pursue. Nux is able to get on board the war rig, and Angerhard falls off in an attempt to protect Max, and is killed, along with her unborn baby, by Joe's own car. Furiosa explains to Max that they are headed to the promised land called the Green Place that Furiosa remembers from her childhood. One of the wives finds Nux injured aboard the war rig and tries to console him. Furiosa and Max continue to fight off Joe's forces as they travel through swampland and desert, and eventually meet up with a group of female motorcyclists known as the Vuvalini. The Vuvalini reveal that they are actually the former members of the Green Place, which has now reverted to the inhospitable swamp that Max and Furiosa had just drove through. The group realizes that they have very few options, and decide to travel back to Joe's Citadel, as it is not defended at the moment, and Joe has a very large supply of water. They travel back, and encounter Joe's forces once again. Furiosa is stabbed, but Furiosa is able to kill Joe by tearing off his breathing mask. Nux sacrifices himself by wrecking the war rig, destroying the canyon, and blocking Joe's remaining forces from pursuing. Max, Furiosa, the Wives, and the Vuvalini return to the Citadel in Joe's car, and Max gives Furiosa his blood so she can survive her stab wound. At the Citadel, the citizens rejoice at the sight of Joe's corpse. The group is cheered and welcomed by the remaining war boys, and Max walks off into the distance. So that was the spoilers for Mad Max Fury Road. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Check out movie spoiler alerts on our various forms of social media, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.